Well, might as well quickly show off the other map that I played in Team Fortress Classic. Uh, this is uh, Frenzy. Uh, this was um, added into Half-Life in the 1.008 patch or something like that, which is released in very early 1999. So, this is like a lot of other uh, the Half-Life Deathmatch maps were made by Dario Caselli. And in my Team Fortress Classic video, I showed off where the uh, his uh, signature could be found here. So I'm just going to kind of breeze through this one. This is a mostly symmetrical-ish map. I'm not sure why I'm not making sounds when I hit the ground here. I might have done something stupid with uh, the game files or something. It probably did, knowing me. But yeah, this is a mostly symmetrical map. This right here is a little bit different, though. And this little, like, crossway doesn't exist in quite the same capacity on the other side. Nor does the entrance to this room. So if you go in this room, you get, like, a little health monitor, which is always a good thing. I, I say health monitor. It's a health dispenser. I'm an idiot. Uh, anyway, going back up there. This is a great map, the gauze map, uh, gauze jump on, by the way. Uh, some maps aren't really made for this weapon in mind, but this one actually is. Because, you know, you could get up here, you could go from all the way down here up into the top area here if you're good with it. I'll show that off. Well, almost. You get what I'm saying. You can also go up on the roof, which I always forget about. Yeah, you can hide up here, actually. Um, I wouldn't say there's much benefit other than just having a hiding spot, because... There's no items up here, so if other players know you're up there, they're going to start raining death on you at some point. But it is an option. Don't don't discount it. It could be there. So let me show you the other side now. Uh, this is where the difference in symmetry is. So I for I don't know why I said the bridge wasn't there. I, I must have forgot. I always forget that this opens up here. I always think it's like closed in, even though I played this map before. Um, but yeah, this is one difference, is that it opens up here... Whereas on the other side, it opens up down there. That's the big distinguisher between the two sides. But besides that, uh, there's also doors, as you can see. There's no doors here. So, yeah, that's what I thought. I always forget that it opens up there. I'm just a weird guy, I know. I know. But, yeah, anyway. So, you got some more items around, you know, as you'd expect in a deathmatch map. This is a little area that's unique to this side, though. You got your good old snarks, which are everyone's favorite. Uh, go down there, and this is, uh, the, like, the continuation of a pathway. See, as you see, yeah, that, that kind of area doesn't exist on this side. But it does here. Which is something. I like the lighting here. It's dingy, and I like it. Uh, here, though, you get the, uh, you also got this little roof area, which, again, I don't recommend. I only meant to go on the long jump thing. I overshot greatly. Now I undershot. Ah! And unlike in Team Fortress Classic, this actually does what you think it'd do. It's the long jump. So yeah, this is a nice little area to kind of spam up here if you got the, like, you know... If you're playing with fewer people, get up there and get the rocket launcher, ideally after getting the gauze jump and jumping up there. Because in that way, you could just sit up there and just rain liquid death, even though nothing to do with liquid in, like, any of the weapons here, as far as I'm aware. But you're going to rain death anyway. Here's uh, this thing, which I always forget the name of. I think it's the Hornet. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Not much to say in terms of, like, the map itself, because I've already kind of showed it off anyway. But yeah, basically, try to stay up on the higher parts. Try to get the gauze gun, and then use it to get into the rocket area. Probably get the long jump, too. And besides that, just take advantage of, like, you know, like, what you have, where you spawn. Just try to be smart about it. And you do fine. Bad timing out uh, there for me. Oh, well.
guy, this map certainly lives up to its name, as you can tell. Again, if they didn't want me playing with 32 people, they should have put some sort of limit on that. That's the way I blow. universe whoever designed this area was so concerned about safety up there and put rails and everything but out on like the path like the pathways up here there's none like you know surely like you know this fall wouldn't kill someone but you know it might hurt their legs like you know cause some sort of like leg fracture it's his kiss safety first Of course, if I were to try to use a rocket launcher that close to myself, I would just end up dead and not actually kill the person I intended to kill. My luck. Also, too, to be a smartass, if you were to play this, like, with two or three people, it wouldn't really be much of a frenzy, you know? It's only really a frenzy because of the fact that there's a ton of us on this map. Concrete. It's very... There's a lot of concrete in this map. Or compacty. That might have worked better. Because the hallways are kind of cramped, so you know, something like that would get the point across, I think. I don't know. Half-Life map, but I wouldn't recommend it with 32 people. 
Despite what I've done here, I, I would say even maybe like 14 is too much. 12, do 12. 